as you can see I've taken delivery of some more miniatures but they're almost more than miniatures they're definitely not for gaming they're almost dioramas in themselves uh, these are from Mindwork Games now just before I start unboxing which I'm going to do next I just wanted to say that I had a really good experience with this company they were a little slow to deliver which is actually fair enough because this particular one was out of stock and rather than ship the other two and incur multiple shipping fees they just waited for that to come in and then very quickly when I emailed to say where is it I had a reply and there was no problem it was very polite I do know that shipping from new people buying from new web stores can sometimes be a little bit kind of nerve-wracking and risky feeling just wanted to say that well, certainly my experience with mind work has been very good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox show you what you get in each of these boxes and then they'll probably unfortunately go onto the pile of shame because I won't have time for the time being to paint them up uh, certainly to the quality I want to but they are glorious so we'll focus on this one which is the um, which is the one that's actually the, um, the most special so I will just get myself ready and I'll be back very shortly what you see here is a limited edition it is number 115 of 200 and is called Lost Note. Oh, just trip over somewhere there, called Lost Note. And this is what took me over to Mindwork because I saw this uh, um, in a, I think it's on Facebook maybe, or might have been on Instagram. And it's such a beautiful sculpt that I just needed to own it and give it a chance to try it painting it. As you can see, it comes very nicely packed with this packing material, which is standard, it seems to me, for how they pack things. They are very, very good at packing. You get this little sprue sheet, which has uh, quite a lot of different parts. And as you can see, as I, when I come to assemble this, I'll take this out of the, of the uh, zip bag, but I'm not going to take it out now because I don't want to lose anything or damage anything. This is a resin model. It is not plastic, so it is not very hard wearing. It is definitely diorama. As you can see, you've got some lovely skulls on the base. And then... Over here we have the two large sections of body um, and these fit together very nicely. They've got little nubs and if we just slot that in, if I can work out which way it goes, having said it fits together very nicely, it does. I've done this once. Um, ah, you see the reason that's going wrong is because I was doing it the wrong way around. There we are, right. I will have probably cut that last bit out because there was a lot of faff in there. But you can see that, that fits in very nicely. There's very, very few seams. There might be a tiny bit of filling, but yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. And you can see that there are little nubs for the, so that you can fit the legs in. And on the bottom, they correspond to the sections on the base. So all in all, it is a beautiful cast and I can't wait to get stuck into it. But I'm going to have to because I just don't have time. So I'll pack this away and then we'll pull out the next box and see what's in that one. Next up we have this sculpt which is called Blood Temple. And you can see that this, art, this has artwork which is actually of the sculpt and the signature of the sculptor. Which is pretty cool, a very nice box. When we open this up we have more excellently packed materials. You can see that it comes with a nice big a chunk of soft foam. And then inside there, nestled on the same packing materials, we have our um, zip bag, which contains the body of the, of the lady. It's going to be fun to paint that. And then we have two halves of, let me just dig that out. There we are remove all of the packing materials and then we have the actual base here which has notches on it the same as the other one so that fits in there very nicely and then that fits on top I believe I'm not sure looks like it doesn't it it's got little notches there there we are so that fits like that sorry that was terribly filmed so we have some kind of a, um, yeah, I think that must be the other way around. Ah, I'm an idiot. There we are. <laughs> right, so yeah, so you've got this nice, big, beautiful um, column, and then she will be standing in front there. You can see there we've got some um, little footprints and what have you for where the, where the girl will stand. But that one was one that when I was looking at the first model, I just saw it and I thought, I want to paint that. And that will be a beautiful little diorama piece just sitting in its own right not necessarily for gaming as I've said they're very delicate but they're very beautifully cast and again very beautifully packed so I'll put that away again and I'll be back for the final box 
Last but not least, we have the puppeteer. Now this is going to stretch me quite a lot when I come to make it. So again, a slightly different form of box. There's three different styles of box, but all of them are well packed. You can see we get the same material that we've had in the others. So let me just pull that out. There we are. So in this one, here is, uh, I could actually, because it's not in a zip, I can actually show you a little bit more detail just how beautifully that sculpted. Isn't that lovely? So that's the puppeteer. And then I'm not going to open this because it's nicely sealed, but inside here will be all the parts to create the model. And that's it. So there's very little in that one, but when you when it's when it's made, this is uh, this has little people down here, and he's puppeteering. He's kind of controlling them with his strings. It's going to be a lot of fun to make. So as you can see, these three are all quite different, and all going to stretch me quite a lot as a painter and also as an assembler. But you shouldn't do things just because they're easy. You should also try and make do things that are difficult. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into these. I just don't know when that will be. So I thought I'd quickly show you these, give you my first impressions, and also uh, just give a shout out to Mindwork for being so good to work with. I hope that this has maybe inspired you to jump over to their site and order something and give it a go. Um, now when my skills pick up, when my painting skills pick up a bit more, I will get these to the table and I will bring you along for that journey as well. So there you are. They really are quite beautiful, aren't they? Have any of you got any mind work sculpts? It'd be wonderful to hear from you if you have. Please do pop a comment below, I'd love to hear that. And if you haven't and you're interested, let me know as well. It's, uh, it was a little bit of a kind of impulse purchase, but I'm really pleased that I got them and I'm very looking forward, though it probably won't be for a long time, to getting them painted up. So anyway, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it, and please stay safe, stay well, and stay healthy.